Okay there guys, so uh, another battle report from Black Dragon and today I am joined by Brian, okay, uh, he's one of our regular players but this is the first time he's actually played this game so today or, uh, we're going to be playing English Civil War and the rules are The Kingdom is Owls by Bicorn, um, well, produced by Bicorn Miniatures, written by James Daniels. Um, we're going to just have a little demo game today, so slightly smaller, it's not full brigade, uh, but a couple of units of pipe and shot, a uh, cavalry unit, safe for each, and a commander. Just to really show how the game works um, and the, the sort of nuts and bolts of it will go together. Okay, so uh, we've already deployed, um, we've got identical armies. Um, Brian's going to play the uh, parliamentarians, okay, and I'm going to be playing the royalists, all right. So we're just going to have an engagement. We just basically enter the battlefield near this uh, near this village. I've got a nice little river going through as well, um, and uh, we're basically on our way uh, to the town. And we've bumped into each other, so we're going to have a little engagement. Okay. Uh, so we're already deployed, and we're going to get straight into turn one. Okay. So first dice drawn is a yellow so yellow will be the um tiffin. tiffin dice so that's the end of turn one already so basically we have an order dice each and uh, three for the commander and um as such uh, seven dice each in the bag um and then there's the yellow dice which is the event dice so that's the end of turn one uh, however what we do need to do we need to roll for events so uh brian uh each unit you need to roll a d10 and you're looking for uh, a one to eight to avoid an event on the orange on unit please yeah so they take one so just put a, a marker there a d d6 or something to show that uh, they have an event okay and the cannon nope commander also has to roll yeah. nope he's okay he's okay and the cavalry Four. Okay, so it's just the orange unit, so it's a 2d10. 2d10, and let's see what event they've got. A nine. Nine. So, um, the order doesn't make sense, so the regiment is now disordered. Okay, so what we do there to represent that is we just angle the unit slightly, just to indicate that they are disordered. Okay, so they are disordered. And the, uh, the royalists, so we've got the cavalry. They're okay. Red unit are okay. Commander. Oh, commander needs to test. Okay, green unit. They're okay. And the Royalist Saker is okay. So again, two dice on the commander this time. Could be a very quick game if I roll a double one. <laughs> uh, a ten is... Um, regiment is dismayed and must retire a normal move away from the enemy. They remain in good order though. So basically uh, the uh, commander there has decided that he getting a bit too close to the front line and he's just going to retire back to the edge of the board. And that's the end of turn one. Okay, so turn two. Let's see if we get a slightly longer turn this time. Okay, so it's green dice. So that's... Uh, the Royalist dice, uh, the Parliamentarians are using the blue dice. Okay, so with the Royalists, what we're going to do is we are going to try a shot with our Saker and we are going to try and hit your blue unit, which I'm just going to check is in range, uh, which is 36, so I'm fairly sure I'm going to be in range. You can pre measure in this at all time. About 30 to the nearest. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have a shot over there at them okay so the shooting for this is as follows so i get 2d6 per gun crew so i have uh, three crew on my saker grab me some d6 so that's four uh, five six okay um then I also am good, so I get 1d6 for being good, and I also add 1d6 uh, for each stand after the first pass through by the round. So I, there's a second row, so it's another d6. Okay, and 
that is it not firing troops and cover or anything so there we go and i'm needing sixes to hit because of the range so okay so we have two hits okay and then to kill we are looking at threes so we're looking at threes or more so that's two kills and then we'll see where they are positioned one to three it's the pike so that's on two of the shot okay so place a two in your casualties for your shot okay there we are okay right Okay, next dice. Another green. Okay, we're going to try and keep the pressure on. So we're going to fire a second <coughs> shot with the Saker. Um, still within 12 of the commander, so don't need to take an order check. It's the same dice ratio as before. So we're looking for sixes again. Uh, nothing that time. And the one thing I did forget to do was to check the ammunition. So I'm going to go back and do that. So cannon. Uh, 12 shots, so that's the second time I've fired, which leaves me with 10. So plenty of ammunition for the cannon. Okay, next dice. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're going to have another go. So that's his third order, so we can't issue any more orders to the Saker. Um, and we're going to do the same again. Looking for sixes again. Still nothing. Okay, so uh, limited Check. damage there. Uh, next dice. Check ammo again or? Uh, yeah, no, just need to knock it down one. Just one? Yep. So down to nine. Plenty more. Me. At least another three turns worth. I'm going to uh, repay the compliment. Okay. Uh, so 2d6. Firing on the green unit. Okay, 2d6 first. So we'll see what ammunition you brought with you. Oh, look at that, a double six. So down to an 11. Because you're firing. Uh, just check your range, make sure you're not within 24, because if you are, you're on fives. Um, no, just shy. Touch over. Yeah, so you're on sixes, it was the same again. Um, so it was six dice, because it's um, you've technically only got three crew on that. I know there's more on the base. Um, yeah. So it's six plus one for being good, so it should be seven dice. Seven dice. And looking for sixes. Uh, two, two hits. Okay, uh, threes to kill. Uh, one, one kill, uh, one to three, it's a pikeman. Uh, yep, so one of my pike goes down. Okay, next dice. You again. Okay. <clears throat> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to advance this unit up. Um, so they are going to have a little wander. Um, Straight forward. Yeah, I think they're going to just go straight forward. So it's 2d6 because they're infantry. Um, again, no order check because I'm close to my commander. So 2d6 forward. So they go five inches forward. Okay, so uh, Red Regiment of Foot have advanced forward. Uh, next dice. Oh, so that's the end of the event turn. Dice. Okay, so event dice. So, um, right, Brian, if you want to start with your orange unit, uh, currently disordered. Yep, D10s. Uh, they're okay. Cannon. Cannon. Uh, nope, cannon's taking a test. Uh, just mark it with a D6 there. Yep. Commander. Commander. He's okay, just. Blue unit. Okay. okay. And cavalry. Okay, so uh, 2D6 on the cannon this time. Uh, no, sorry, 2d10, my bad. Sorry. No, it's my bad. <clears throat> 15. Uh, regimental sergeants get shouting. Okay, so, uh, good news for you, I think, this one. Uh, all disordered regiments in the brigade are now good order. Happy days. All right, so you get a free uh, reorder of the oranges. Um, so, there they go. And then for the royalists, the cannon, it's fine. Green unit, it's fine. 
Uh, Commander Scurdy Pants is fine. Uh, Red Infantry, testing. And the Cavalry, testing. testing. Okay, so we've got two events. So over this side of the battlefield, Red Unit, a nine. Uh, the orders don't make sense, they're, they're disordered. And the Cavalry, 15. Uh, which is the regiment of sergeants get shouted. So um, yeah, basically uh, weren't happy about them being disordered, and uh, they're now back. So uh, dice back in. All the dice all that go back in. No one's lost any units yet. So they will go back in the bag. And uh, turn three. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> well done, Brian. <laughs> Um, so uh, apologies for Brian pulling the yellow dice all the time. When apologies. Not, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So orange unit. Let's test for them. End of the turn. D ten. Yeah. D ten. They're testing again. Oh. Artillery. Gotta love the realism of the uh, oh. English Civil War. <laughs> uh, Commander. Commander. Okay. Yeah. You've never rolled so high. Uh, they're okay. And no, cav. Cavalry. Oh, oh, they're testing as well this time. Team. Okay, so uh, orange unit, 2d10. Uh, six, that's not good. Uh, you'll notice you want to go high. Yeah. Uh, right, so Gilbert is drunk again. Remove three order dice from the parliamentarian side uh, for d3 turns. So if you want to roll a d3, so two turns, you lose three dice out of there. So if you take three dice out, Put them in the cow shed. Okay, for three turns. <clears throat> the cannon. Where are we? Two D eight. Uh, two D ten. Sorry for the cannon. Uh, Fourteen. 14. So that's not too Tension bad. Together. Exceptional ammunition for this unit's next shot in the next turn. You may double the dice before modifiers. Ouch. Okay. So they've got some uh, armour-piercing uh, cannonballs. Okay, for the next uh, shooting. Cavalry. Yeah. Won't make any difference if you pull another yellow dice straight away, though. Yeah. 14. Uh, exceptional ammunition. So again, same for the cavalrymen. Uh, so they've got uh, armour-piercing bullets in their pistols. They've got double. Yeah, double. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we can remember that. Yeah, fine. It's only larger battles we might struggle. Okay, so uh, royalist side. Let's see what happens. Cannon, fine. Green unit, check in. Commander, fine. Red unit, fine. Cavalry, fine. So it's just the uh, green unit here. <coughs> and a 10. ten. Uh, regiment is dismayed and must retire on normal move away from the enemy. Oh no! So 2d6. Four inches. They're going to move four inches backwards. Okay, and um, but they do, however, remain in good order. Okay, so they're going to move backwards, and then we're going to start the next turn. Okay, because Brian keeps pulling the yellow dice, completely lost track of what turn we're on. So four, four is it? Okay. Me. Oh, look at that! And a parliamentarian dice comes out. And my artillery. Yep. Would that be within the ten degrees? Uh, yes, because you only need to hit here. Any part hits it all. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that was, uh, it was. Well, you're that. probably going to be in fives and sixes there, mate. You want to probably check that. So we are to the gun barrel. Yeah, 24, yeah. So, yeah. In. so it was seven, so is it now 14 dice? Uh, well, it's before modifiers, so you only double the six dice, so you're on 12. Yeah. Uh, then you add one for good order, 13. Six. 13. Um, however, because you're angle, you're not going through the second rank, so you're not getting the extra dice. Uh, however, you need fives this time. Thirteen dice. Yeah, fives. on fives. Okay, take away the misses. Five hits. And threes. Uh, oh, only two. Only got two. Wow. Uh, right, so uh, because they were on shot, uh, that's two damage to the shot because you didn't go through the pike. Okay. Okay. Uh, also, drop your ammo down by one. Okay. Yeah. Right on. on. Uh, right. Next dice. Over to you. Okay. 
Okie dokie. What to do? So what we're going to do is we're going to order the Saker to try and shoot down the uh, Parliamentarian Saker. So uh, we have six dice, plus one for being in good order. Um, so it gives us seven. And that is, that is it. So uh, we are needing sixes to hit the enemy Saker. Oh, baby, we got two. Okay, now Seiko, we need fours to kill the crew on the Seikers. Uh, so that's one dead. Okay, so uh, that's a casualty, so uh, put it on your yeah. damage chart. That one. Where it's got pipe or shot, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, next dice, please. Me. I'm going to advance these. Okay, so within command distance, so it's a, so just a Free full full advance, yeah. Yeah. So two d six, eight inches. Okay. Whilst we uh, wait for those two. Okay, so uh, parliamentarians have decided to uh, advance up the battlefield. Uh, next dice. There you go. Interesting. And they are now going to shoot. Okay, so they're going to fire. Okay, so uh, they're well within range. Um, so let's uh, let's sort that out. Okay, so uh, parliamentarians are going to shoot the uh, royalist. Infant, uh, regiment here, so uh, we've only got two stands of parliamentarian shot that are within uh, fire channel. Uh, these guys here uh, coming down and shooting wide. So we get two dice per stand, so that's four, plus one for them being in good order. You get one extra dice per two stands, so it's a total of five dice. We are within 12 though, um, so um, they will be hitting on fives. The other thing these guys need to do is it's their first shot of the game, so you need to roll 2d6 and see how much shot you've actually got on you today. Uh, they've only got five, so you put a four in the ammunition, because you're firing now anyway. Okay, so they've only got four shots left for the rest of the game, and uh, you're looking for fives. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, we have two, two successes, uh, threes to kill, only the one. One. Uh, one to three, it's pike. Uh, it's a pike. So uh, we lose a pike. Okay, and uh, there we go. Okay, next dice. Next dice. Over to you. All right, okay. So, I think what we'll do here is we're just going to check the distance my red unit is away from my commander. And they are out of command range. So because these guys are good, um, I need to get a three or more to issue the command. Um, and I'm going to command them to move. And so they're going to wheel, okay, and then move. And they're going to move to the junction maximum. Okay, so let's see if we get an order check off, which we do. We need to do the three plus. And now they're going to move 2d6, and they're going to go 5, uh, which is a wheel. Okay, so they're going to wheel round, and that include, that will include the distance as well. So I'll wheel them and come back to you shortly. Okay, and just like magic, they're in position, and they've wheeled the 5. So next order dice, really looking for another green one here if I can. Ooh. Ooh. Decisions. I think... I can use those, move those again, can't I? Can move them. I was going to, but I can't fire again because I've used their third. No, no, yeah, you can fire, but you won't be able to unless the um, end of turn dice came out, or you can fire again. Or you could charge. 
Why not? What are you going to do? Charge. Okay, so we're going to charge. Okay, and uh, let's see what happens here. So, um, charge in infantry. Uh, they roll 3d6. All right, and um, let's see what they uh, what they get. So let's go for it. Uh, so it's 9, 11. So 11 inches is probably going to be enough. Get from there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the ammunition's been uh, changed, and Brian, uh, we've moved him the halfway, worked out that the defenders will get a chance to stand and fire. Um, the parliamentarians did fire off a shot before they charged in, so uh, they will have their original dice throw on the previous order, which was uh, five dice, hitting on fives. Uh, two hits, uh, we're on threes. Uh, only the one, uh, one to three pike. So another pike one goes down. Um, however, now the royalists get to uh, fire back and they will get uh, two, four, six, eight, ten dice. That's five, ten. Uh, I do need to check my ammo, so let's do that quickly. And it's an eight. Okay, so it goes down to seven. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but these are treated at short range. So short range with uh, shot is wounding, is hitting on threes. Ow. Yeah, isn't it? Two, four, six, eight. And then it was 10, wasn't it? Yep. Do we get an extra one for short range? No, it's just artillery, isn't it? Uh, we do get an extra one for good, though. So uh, an extra two dice, because it's one for every two. Yeah, I know. So uh, you do throw a lot of dice in this. Wait till combat. <laughs> so uh, hitting on threes. Oh, look at that. Even I can muck that up. Um, and then threes to wound. Five hits. Okay, already lost two shots, so ideally I want fours. That'll do. So two, three in the shot. So it takes yeah. one stand away. Yeah, so down to one there. And two pike. Two pike. Okay, so basically we'll take one stand of uh, shot away and engage in combat. So we'll move them in. Okay, so. Um, the parliamentarians, having lost a stand of shot on the way in, have engaged in the combat. So they get two dice per pike unit, uh, per pike stand, sorry, in combat. Then they get two dice for every supporting pike in good order. So that's a total of eight. They then get three dice, one each for the shot units. So that takes them up to 11. Um, and they get one extra dice because they are good, taking them to 12. So there's no to hit as such, it's literally a straight kill roll um, on fives in combat. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty good. So four, I make that. Yep. Okay, so uh, four dice back. See what you hit. One to three, it's pike. Uh, so three pike. Three pike, one shot. Okay, and one shot. Okay, so that was the first part of it, just for dice amount. Um, so uh, parliamentarians get a second run as they charge, so double the attacks. Um, however, it's doubling the base attacks. Um, so it is two, four, five, six, seven extra dice. It's not the modified, it's just the, the extras. So seven dice for the stands. Still, still five. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sorry, eleven dice. You just don't get the one for the being in good. Uh, yeah, still fives. Five. Um, what's that, two? Wow. Yeah, so uh, see what they are. Uh, both low, so it's a total of uh, seven casualties on the pike. So that's a uh, stand gone on the pike. Um, now, 
the Royalists get to fight back, so that's going to be uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 on the pike, plus 4 on the shot, takes them to 12, plus 1 for being in good order, 13 dice, needing 5s. Okay, so we've lost, uh, that's four shot and two pike. Two more pike, so they're up to four. And four more shot. Yeah. So they're up to five. Okay, so casualty removal. Okay, so we're just about to see whether the, uh, the parliamentarians are on their way back to Norfolk. Uh, so morale-wise, they've lost three stands. Uh, they are good, but they lost Malay, so those two equal each other out. So it's D10 minus three. So uh, oh. eight minus three is five. Uh, so you hold position, however, you are in, you are now disordered. So we just uh, indicate that they're disordered. Okay, and the next bit is. Uh, so um, the Royalists who won the combat, uh, but they did lose a stand, so they need to check the morale as well. Um, so um, worked it out as a plus two modifier. Uh, that takes them up to a six, so they hold position, but are also disordered. disordered. Okay, so the battle continues with uh, the uh, two now disordered units in the middle. And um, Brian, if you want to roll first, uh, you are looking for fives. And wow! Nothing. Oh dear. Uh, the Royalists are looking for fives. And they get three. Ooh. Um, and what do we need? We need at least one four to take a, a unit down. We got the one four. So that's a stand of shotgun. Oh no, it's not. No, no. <coughs> I was looking at your ammo. So one shot and two pike. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing all that. Okay, so with uh, three casualties inflicted by the Royalists, uh, whilst it didn't take a stand out, the Parliamentarians will need to make a morale check for losing the combat. Um, so this time they are testing uh, again at minus three uh, for the amount of uh, stands they've actually lost. Minus four because they lost the combat. Um, so they're down to minus four. However, they are plus one. Uh, because they are good. So it's a test at minus three on a D10. And a six four, minus three. Fall back. Okay, fall back, full move, facing the enemy, then you're disordered. If in route, continue routing. Okay, so uh, they're going to now fall back, um, which is a full move, so 2D6. 11. Okay, so off they go. Okay, so we're going to just check whether the Royalists are going to pursue the disordered parliamentarians back across the field and they, they do so off they go so we're going to pursue uh, which is 2d6 uh, it's three inches because i am disordered so i'm not going to make contact so i move three and stop okay so next order dice okay right <clears throat> The Saker probably can't hit your blue unit there. We'll activate the uh, cavalry. So they're going to need to make a uh, morale check and they're going to advance to the edge of this road here. The edge of the bridge is where they're going to go. Uh, yeah, they passed that. 4d6. Nope, 3d6. 4d6 is not Curassier. So 4d6 down a cav. Um, so 12. 16, easily make it. They just trot up to hold the bridge line. Okay, uh, next dice. Yellow. Oh, the yellow dice of doom has come to save Brian. Okay, so I uh, need to roll an event for uh, cavalry. Nope. Blues. Nope. Commander. Nope. Artillery? Yep. Nope. Orange. Ooh. Dodged it. Cavalry. Oh, <laughs> I've caught the plague. 
Uh, no, they're okay. Green unit. Uh, Commander for the Royalists. And the Saker for the Royalists. Oh, okay, so it's just the cavalry that we're testing. A nice high number. Uh, 15. Uh, regimental sergeants get shouting. So all disordered regiments. That actually works quite well for me because uh, my royalists who were chasing after the parliamentarians are now back in good order. Uh, that is the end of turn four. four. So going into turn five, dice back in. Okay, so turn five. Um, I think... We're going to yes. go with turn five. We've got a turn counter now, so we should be all right. Okay, turn five, draw. With very little dice. Mm. Oh, <laughs> more events. Let's go for it. But it's another turn closer to him getting his order dice back. So, uh, cavalry. Okay, red unit. Okay, green unit. Commander. So, green unit. Tekken. Saker is okay. So, green unit. Ah, four, that's not going to be good. Uh, okay, so a four is poor powder and lose D6 shots. They haven't even shot yet. So we've got to check first. Um, you have to start. Uh, that'll well. do. <laughs> and I've lost no. one. Hey, <laughs> so um, they are on 11. <clears throat> so not the end of the world, but could have been disastrous. And um, orange. Orange. Oh. Fail, so let's be checking. Say cars, okay. Commander. Okay. okay. Blue unit. Okay. Yeah. Cavalry. Okay. They're okay. So, uh, orange unit. Let's see what happens. Uh, 12. Uh, powder replenishment. Gain an additional D6. So they've not actually checked yet either. So they get 3D6 of powder. Uh, so 9, nine in total. Nine. Hmm. Okay, so new turn. No dice were drawn, so they stay as they were. Turn six. Last turn without the dice, so. Me. You may want to rally your blue unit here, um, although, again, it don't take effect till next turn. But they are currently disordered and facing an ordered regiment. Yeah, we will do. So, uh, are you within 12 of your commander? <coughs> The back is. Yep, so that's yep. okay. Right, so you're going to try and uh, rally your unit. Okay, so uh, rally from disorder. You are good, so you get plus two for that. Um, and you, so you're at plus two, so you need roll a d10, and you should be good because. One. A uh, one plus two is a three. Uh, you are reform at the start of your next turn. So you're okay. So do that now. Or leave uh, no, out? leave them disordered because they're disordered until the start of turn seven. Okay. Okay. But at that point, if they don't suffer any more reason to be disordered, they are back ordered. Me okay. again. There again, you can still use them, fire, or move back, or whatever you want to try and do with them, but you're still disordered, so you're going to lose dice. Or alternatively, you could do something else. I am going to advance these. Okay, so are they just advancing forward? Or up to a wall? or They are going to advance up to this. Okay, so 2d6. You've been 12, so no order check. Oh. A whole three. Wow. Exciting stuff. Okay. Okay. You. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to move my commander first and try and get him closer to, uh, so 46 for my commander, uh, 12. So he's going to reposition himself closer to the centre of the battlefield. And he's going to move up to there, put himself in command range. 
So he has moved this turn. And then I'm going to issue an order to these guys. It should be a fire order. And they're going to uh, try and blat the uh, blue unit at point blank range. So uh, two dice each for this shot, uh, of which I've got eight dice. Yep. One for good order. And <coughs> um, and it's plus one d6 for every two stands, so an extra dice. Okay, and I am at point blank range, so within sixes, uh, within uh, six inch. So I'm looking at threes to hit. Um, and then threes to kill. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Uh, so that's uh, two and three. Two and the pike, so that's a pike gone. So there's our black dice out. And then out to one. three on the shot. Yes, yeah, so then then you've took the shot out. No, I took the pike out. So is it one of each? Or was there no casualties on Pike? There was none on. I thought it was two and two. Yes, there's one of each. Yeah, one of each, and then one on the one on a shot, and nothing left yes, on Pike. So. Yeah. And then that's another one of them gone. So I'll get you two more. <clears throat> okay, so you've lost a stand. We lost two stands. So uh, morale check. So this time though, you're down to three stands from an initial eight. So you've lost five. Um, so you are good though. Your commander is more than twelve inches away. By looks of it, probably now I've lost the back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you don't get a bonus for him, but you're getting plus one for being good. Uh, you've lost a total of uh, two, four, six, eight, down three. So you're minus five, plus one for being good, gives you minus four. You're currently disordered, back to five. Um, right, so it's uh, minus five, sir. Uh, ten, minus five is five. Hold in position, disordered. Okay, so you're already disordered anyway. So that cancels out my rally. Okay. okay, next dice. Tiffin. Okay, so saved by the bell. Uh, right, so cavalry. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Blue. Yep. Commander. Continue. Yep. Orange. Okay. Uh, cavalry. Red unit. Commander. Greens and cannon. Haste it as well. Okay, so uh, dice back in. Uh, you now get your all your dice back, I think, yeah, don't you? I do, that was the three turns. And turn seven. Me. Oh. Can you advance? No, I'm going to advance the cannon. Okay, so uh, this is a medium cannon. So movement wise, just check. It's 1d6, two inch. Okay. Okay, next dice. Me again. I think we're going to move the cannon again. Okay, so another d6. Four. Four. You, sir. <coughs> okay, I think I'm going to advance this unit down here. 
they're just going to go forward. Ten. Okay, so. Start getting a bit fruitier now in a minute. Now it's closing. Okay. Next on. Mm -hmm. You again. Ow. Okay, I'm going to give a fire order to this unit. <coughs> So two, four, six, eight, two for good, and threes and threes. Three of these being four would be good. That would do. Oof. So that's one base of shot. So it stays on one. Well, that's all your shot gone anyway, so you can yes. the other one. So one and pike. one pike. And that is another morale check. This time at minus six. Uh, plus one for being good. Uh, but you're disordered, so it's effectively minus six. A oh. Five minus six. So the unit routes. Okay, so. Uh, off they trot, uh, they are in route, so it's 3d6 towards your table edge. So they go ten. a total of 10 that way. And if you turn them so you're facing your way, you know they're in route. They are going back to Norfolk. Yeah, very much so. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, next dice. You. Mm -hmm. Let's have a think. Fire the cannon. So I needed to do an order check because I'm more than 12 away from my commander. And a five says it's okay because I needed a three because the unit is good. Drop my ammunition down. I fire at the orange unit. Uh, so can you just measure the range for me? Yes. Mm, 23. 23. So within 24, so it's fives needed. Um, I get two dice per crew member, so equivalent to six, one for being good, and extra one because I'm going through, you've got a second rank. Okay? Yep. So looking at, um, it was fives. Um, two. Two. Threes. One. Uh, which pike. is a two, so a pike. Okay, next dice. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to activate uh, this unit. We're going to have a shot at the orange unit. Yep. Okay, so it's uh, full strength, so that's. Uh, Two for each stand of shot, two, four, and then eight, and two extra for being good. Range wise, um, can you just double check, I'm definitely within 18. We're pre measuring yep. it, yep. Cool. Um, so we are looking at sixes, uh, one success, kills, and it's a pack. Okay. 
me. Uh, I'm going to fire the cannon. Okay. At your green unit. No problem. So drop your ammo down one. And measure your range. Yeah. Are you within 12? Yes. Okay, so you are hitting on threes. You've only got two crew though, so you get four dice. Plus one for good. Yep. And you're not shooting through the rank, you're hitting these. Yep. So you're not getting your bonus for that. So uh, Five. that's it. And mm -hmm. you are hitting on threes. Threes again. Uh, so that's three, and they are all on shot because that's all you could target. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Next dice. Are you, sir? Okay, I'm going to advance this unit. We're going to wheel and head towards your cannon. Yep. Okay. So 2d6. Four. From that end. Yep. So down to there. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, next dice. That's gone now anyway, because that was in there. One turn only. Yeah, it was the next turn. Me. <clears throat> I'm going to fire. Okay. Orange and so green. Return, return fire. Yep. So uh, you have two, four, six, eight shot. Then you get plus one for being good for every two stands. So it's an extra two, so you should have ten dice. Yeah. Um, at that range, you're needing sixes. Ow. Three. Also, you need to drop your ammo down by one. Yeah. So three. Uh, three to kill. Ooh. Yeah, and then uh, roll to see what you hit. Uh, three on the shot. shot. So that takes uh, down to two, and I lose uh, one stand of shot. So, and a morale check. <coughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, one, that's Ooh. not good. Um, however, I have a commander. I am good. So it's plus one, plus one. Uh, losing one. Um, Two or less. So one stand lost, takes me down to zero, plus one for being good, plus one for having a commander, gives me a two. Uh, they are in route, so uh, 3d6 backwards. Obviously very right. emotional about their friend. Uh, so that is 14, so I'm uh, just going to move them back. Okay, so uh, yeah, that, uh, that didn't go according to plan. Uh, that's one of the advantages and joys of this game is you just can't legislate for anything there um, one casual or one little fire and uh, that's it they've uh, turned tail the old green coats over there so uh, next dice please me can my cavalry go into them yeah yeah so we're going to charge okay you're in 12 so uh, it's 4d6 Ouch. 12, 16, 16 plus 5, 21. 21. Measure the distance. If it's, uh, if it's less than 11, I can't react to that. Nearest to nearest. Yeah. So, 10 and a quarter. Ah, so I can react. So, uh, I am going to charge to, uh, chain, blah, to receive horse. Okay. So, basically, you move halfway. Yeah. Uh, so, effectively, the 11. And I then change formation. 
Okay, so the uh, cavalry have uh, charged the red unit who have uh, uh, got themselves ready to face the horse. Um, fortunately, they're about uh, an inch in it to allow them to react, uh, so they've uh, formed the block. Uh, cavalry are now going to discharge pistols. Uh, they're looking on fives to hit. Ooh, uh, nothing. nothing. Okay. So now the cavalry can decide whether they wish to actually carry on the, the charge into the combat or whether they want to wheel um, and avoid going into the pike. Um, so, um, Brian, they will carry do? on. They're going to just carry on. Oh, so, uh, Royalist Brave Cavalry. So, in you go. So, basically, you move them in into contact. Okay, so we'll run the numbers. So um, you get 4d6 per cavalry stance, that's 12. Uh, you don't get to double it because I am, I'm in uh, charge for horse. Um, you get plus 1d6 per stand for being good, so 3. And that is it, that's your lot. So okay. uh, you are on 5s or 6s. They are. Not good. Uh, two pipe and one shot. So, so a total of three casualties. Just mark that for a minute. And it is a stand of shot who are killed. <clears throat> okay, return attack. We have one dice for the shot. We have two dice for the pike. Two dice for supporting pike, and then two dice for good, and we're looking at fives. Oh, even worse. Yeah. So, nothing. Okay, so uh, the um, royalists lose the combat and lost the stand, so they need to do a command check. So, a nice high number here would be nice. An eight is pretty good. Uh, so they are currently good. Uh, their commander is within range, so they're plus two, so it takes it up to a ten. They've lost one stand and they lost the combat, which takes them down to two, which is eight. So they continue in good order. Um, so uh, the cavalry get to fight another round of combat. Okay, so same again this time. It's uh, four, eight, twelve, plus three. Um, again, if you disordered me, you'd have doubled your dice. Doubled, yeah. Yeah. So, mm. looking fives again. Uh, three. So, let's see what they are against this time. Phew. Uh, that's good, because otherwise I could have lost uh, another, another three casualties. Um, I get to fight back, two, that's the pike, that's the shot, and then being good. Uh, this time two casualties back, which is enough to uh, take one of your stands out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, remove a stand. Okay. So we both now have to take command checks. I have to take the check because I lost the combat because I lost three casualties to your two. Yeah. You have to take a check because you lost a stand. Okay. Uh, your commander is more than 12 away by the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh. No, he's just in. He it's these big bases these commanders are on. Yeah. Um, okay, <coughs> so you're plus one, minus one. So, uh, but you are good. So effectively you're at plus one. Oh. oh, two. So you guys are in rout. Oh Although you did win the combat. Um, however, that's still not going to be good enough because a one is dreadful. Um, oh, actually, one plus one for being good takes you to two. Plus one for your Come commander, on. three. Plus one because you won the combat, four. Minus one for your stand loss, three. So you fall back in disorder. And it's a full move. Facing the enemy, then disorder. So in actual fact, we did that wrong earlier. You fall back uh, 4d6, then you are in disorder. So you, you don't go half distance backwards to fall. Uh, ten. 10. So 10 backwards. And they are disordered. You can fit another one under the tree, can't you? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so the round heads have uh, been pushed back there. Now let's see what happens to my guys. So, um, <coughs> two, four, six, they've lost two stands. They are good, and they do have a commander within range. So it's plus two, minus two, but they lost the combat, so minus one. Oh, oh they're, they're off as well. <laughs> so these guys are definitely in route. Um, and uh, so the, the Royalists look like they might have had enough of this, and uh, they're in almost full retreat. So 3d6 backwards. Uh, so it's 11, and then they are also in route. So move those back in a sec. Okay then, so next dice. Me. Advance these yep. to the fence line. Yep, 2d6. That's enough. Yep. Eight so up to the fence line. Might take a while. Okay, I'm going to advance my cavalry up to the edge of this tree here. Twenty. So there's a slight wheel there as well. Going in. Hang on. Well, yeah, basically there. Right, banking on the next dice coming out here. I'll try and run those disordered parliamentarian cavalry out of town. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now you pull the dice. Okay, so. Um, Right, let's uh, roll some events. Orange. Okay, cannon. Cannon. Yeah. All right. Commander. Oh, he's fouled. Yeah. Uh, blue. Passed. Cavalry. Okay, okay. so commander, 2d6. Uh, sorry, 2d10. Yeah. And eight. And Not great. Middle for middle. Um, downgrade. If already poor, take an immediate morale check. So your commander is now poor rather than good. Um, so he's taken a wound or something, and I uh, know oh he's gone down to ordinary. I do apologise. So he's uh, gone from good to ordinary. Mm. Okay, so that's going to reduce his command radius. Okay, so his command radius is uh, is less. All right. Okay, so uh, me Saker. Past green unit. Commander. Past. Past. Uh, I could really do with a nice high number here. Otherwise, I am in trouble. Okay. Right. So, uh, turn eight. Compulsory moves. Routers. <laughs> yeah. So, I am in big trouble. So, your unit. Um, your infantry unit who are in route, uh, they are moving 3d6. Uh, so that is 11. They are off the board, are they? No. No, so they're still, sure. still on. The red unit need this nice and low. We're 11. Might be gone. Yeah, they're gone. They've gone home. And then this unit, probably about, I need, I need triple one. Uh, no. uh, they're gone as well. So uh, Royalist Infantry have left the field, um, which is uh, not good at all. Uh, it doesn't really leave me with many options other than my cavalry. Um, so uh, we'll just uh, set that and uh, we'll be back. Uh, the all important dice, here we go. Needs to be 
<laughs> Need to be green. However, that does mean they're that gone. they're going to be gone. Okay. So, uh, check for the cav. Okay. Check for your commander. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Test. And also your routing unit also tests because they're still technically on board. They're okay. So 2D10 for the uh, orange. Nine. Orders don't make sense, so they're now disordered. Okay. Uh, the Royalist, what's left of them? Cannon. Commander. Fails. And the cavalry fail. Oh dear. So the commander. Nine. Same. He's disordered. He can't be disordered because he's the commander, so that's okay. Nothing happens. Cavalry, nice and high. Fifteen. Anything that's disordered. Oh, all disordered regiments uh, are no longer disordered on my side. Okay, so, um, yeah, so uh, compulsory move, the uh, parliamentarians are off. <clears throat> so three units gone now, um, which is going to really affect the rest of the morale now that the... Uh... Okay, so, here we go. Turn nine. Oh, actually, um, two of my order dice are now out the bag. Oh, yeah. uh, yours routed at the beginning of this turn, so, so they the stay there until next turn. <sighs> they are going to wheel. What, the cannon? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yep, full move. So just a turn on the spot mm -hmm. there. Um, okay, next dice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is the commander's gonna move. I'm gonna be very brave. Um, so it's uh, 11, 14, 19. So he's going to move up towards his cavalry. Yeah. Uh, so he's just going to ride up to here. And then we're going to order the cavalry who are going to charge your uh, disordered cavalry. So 5d6. Need to get enough for you not to react, which I do. So I just slam straight into your disordered cavalry. And the Royalists are going to go down with a fight here. <clears throat> In typical Royalist fashion, cavalry don't care that half the army's left. <laughs> uh, they've, they've obviously watched the DVD on Prince Rupert's tactics, and off they go. Right, so uh, let's uh, work this out. So we've got... Um, 46 for each stand in Malay, so that's three of them. So it's uh, 12. Um, they then are charging, so double dice, 24. Oh. <laughs> um, they are. Good, so 1d6 times 3, so 3 of them. And that's it, so that's what I've got. Oh, good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, we're looking for fives. Need, a, need an assistant yeah. holding the camera and the dice at the same time. So we're looking for fives and sixes. One, two, three, four, four and a half. So four and a half stands. So that's four stands gone and uh, one guy left. Okay, so, um, so that was a total of nine casualties um, 
you get three uh, dice back, which is 4d6 each, so it's 12. However, you are disordered, so you halve it, so you've got six dice. And uh, plus one for being good. So six plus three is nine. Nine dice, and you're needing fives. Um, one, so one and a half. One and a half. Okay, so all right. So you need to uh, do a morale check, and you're at minus four currently for the. Uh, oh no, per stand lost in total, so you'll be at minus still five. Disordered. Yeah, you're still disordered. Uh, so minus five. Um, so you also lose another one because you've lost a unit. They've routed. Yep. Okay, so it has an effect on your overall morale. So that's minus six. six. You've lost melee, minus seven. However, you are good and you're within. Yes. So you're at minus five. five. D10 minus five. Yeah. You are in route. So 4D6. <clears throat> uh, 5D6, actually, I think, for cavalry and route. Let me just double check that. Um, cavalry, route, yes, 5D6. Uh, so 10, 10, 16, 17, that's going to be enough to take you straight off the board. No, directly back. Oh, yeah. So, so off they go. I also need to make a command check. So I'm good. I'm within one of my commander. Um, I won the melee, so plus two, so I'm at plus four. However, I've lost one stand. It takes me down. One is three. Minus, uh, plus three. Plus three, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, so good, one, and commander's four. Minus one, takes me to three for the stand. I've lost two uh, regiments, so I'm at plus one. Oh, my word. Okay, so uh, they've decided to... <laughs> route. <laughs> route. Backwards. Uh, well done, guys. Uh, so that's uh, 5d6, and off they go. It does get me out of the way of your cannon, though. Wow. <laughs> 12, 22, 24 inches. So uh, 24 inches, which is not good, because if that yellow dice comes out before I get to rally, I am in trouble. <clears throat> so the clearly turned, saw that the cannon was facing straight at them and uh, decided that was enough for them. Okay, so next dice needs to be green. <laughs> Definitely not yellow. Blue. Okay, blue will do. Blue doesn't really affect anything, so just definitely need a green. What's the range on the shot? 18. And it's half the move over yours, is it? Yeah. I'm going to wheel the cannon okay. again. Okay. Blue. And they're going to sit tight. Okay, uh, we might as well do a rally because you're currently yes, disordered. Yes, true. Uh, D10? Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, you're fine because you're getting plus one for the uh, unit. Minus. They stay disordered until the end of the turn. Yes, yeah. but next turn they will be ordered. Yeah. <laughs> Cannon yep. is going to fire. Okay, look. So uh, you've only got two crew, so you get two dice per crew, and then plus one for being good. Five. Um, Sixes. Range. Uh, you're within. Are you in twenty-four? No. So no. you're on sixes. Okay. Nope. Zip. Take your ammo down one. <clears throat> Whew. 
Okay. So they moved at the start of last turn, so he hasn't moved this turn, the commander. So the commander's going to move because he needs to get and try and get these uh, guys back. So he's going to come back here and they're going to try and rally. Okay, so we're going to try a rally uh, from route. Um, they are good, so they get plus two. Uh, minus two for having a stand lost. Okay, so here goes. Five. They... They halt in place and are disordered. So they are now <coughs> back in the uh, fight, having retreated slightly. However, they are disordered. So I could do with another dice out of the bag, please, before we get that yellow. You have. Okay, so uh, they're going to do a rally now from uh, being disordered. Okay, so we're good. We have a commander. So plus three. So anything but a one. Oof. Yay! So we're not going to be disordered at the start of next turn. Okay, and still some more green dice, please. Oh, the yellow one comes out. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, roll off. Orange. Yep. Yep, good. Cannon. Yep. Commander. Yep, okay, cannon, fine, commander, fine, cavalry, fine, okay, so uh, dice back in, uh, turn 10. I need to take one out now. Yes, you would, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you should be missing two in total. And I should be missing two. So we should both have three, ones, yeah. four, five. We should both be on five dice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Done. Good. Wheel. Okay. Cavalry are going to advance to the junction and then wheel to face the cannon. Yeah. Last ditch glory from the Royalists. So that's 15. So that's probably going to just get me. Yep. Yeah. So start the wheel. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, cannon, commander, cavalry. Okay, I'm good. Orange. Yep. Cannon. Yep. Commander. Yep. Okay. Of oh. <laughs> Cavalry <laughs> are going to charge the cannon. So, need a order check to charge. Passed. 5d6. Need nice and high now. 10, 18, 18. Mm, more than 9 away. I've got a feeling that cannon can. Uh... Yeah. So I go 9. Just 11. Too short. 
and I get to shoot. So shooting wise, am I within three? Yes. So I am short range. Okay, so uh, 2d6 per stand. <laughs> Plus one for every two stands, an extra one there. So I'm on threes. Fours to kill. And that's all your crew dead. The cannon would get to uh, fire. It does need to make a command check, which is, uh, is good. Um, it gets plus one for having the within command radius, which it is even with the reduced radius. Uh, and a six is a success. So it will get to fire. Um, so there's only two crew. Um, so it gets 4d6. Close range. Uh, you are firing at cavalry, so you get plus one. And then um, short range, hail shot, double dice. Eight dice. Needing. Hit on threes. Oh. oh, thank you very much. So three go three, mm. and it is um, fours to wound cavalry. <laughs> okay, so back to where we were. <laughs> so that gets removed, and uh, they continue their uh, uh, charge on, I believe. Okay, so the uh, Royalist cavalry... Uh, overrun the uh, parliamentarian cannon and are now well behind the parliamentarian force or what's left of it and threatening the baggage train um, and uh, we have the yellow dice of doom out again so uh, let's uh, see what happens Taker, commander and the cavalry yep I'm all good orange A no. test and commander test Ow. oh so uh, Double test for them. Oh, that's oh, not good. Dear. This could be the end of the game here, I think. Oh, dear. Uh, disaster strikes. Lose one stand of troops from the regiment and take a morale check. So, uh, you have... Does it matter which... Well, I'd roll, I'd roll the dice, actually. One to three one, is pike. Yeah. And uh, so it was... Yeah, yeah. so the shot have gone. So they've just sloped off. Yeah. Um, Morale and check. Uh, morale check. So uh, you are checking this on. Uh, you're within range of your. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. He's uh, no, reduced, he's reduced. Isn't he? So um, command radius of the downgraded guy. Let's just have a quick check. What that is? Three. Uh, he's ordinary now. Uh, yeah. So he is uh, twelve. So yeah, he's okay. He's Sixteen is good. Yeah. Right, so uh, morale check. Here we go. So you've, uh, oh dear. So uh, you've lost a stand, but you've also lost three units. Yeah. So that's minus three, minus four. That, my friend, I think they're routing. I think is is pretty much it because uh, they are three d six backwards, Jam. Uh, which is 15, which puts you right in front of my cav. And in route, at the start of the turn, compulsory move will be them. And that is, by the skin of their teeth, a royalist victory. Yeah. Um, so the cavalry of the royalists managed to uh, do it in the end and force the, uh, the parliamentarians to retire. So that is um, the kingdom is ours, uh, which um, really nice game. Really gives that feel of uh, the English Civil War, uh, backwards and forwards, not knowing what quality of troops you've got. Random events, absolutely love uh, the fact that you can multiple order, and it's a very similar sort of system um, to bolt action or sharp practice, where you've got order chits. Um, and you can multiple order units, so you can really sort of try and plan things, but then that, that yellow dice or the yellow chip, tiffin, whatever you want to call it, comes out the bag, 
and everything resets and then you get those special events which really uh, did hamper things and forcing morale checks um, really did uh, change the game and again what we have seen is as more and more regiments obviously started to leave the battlefield it really affected the morale um, and overall uh, great game so thank you very much Brian thank you and uh, we'll uh, see you soon in the meantime uh, do check us out at uh, www.blackdragonminiatures.com uh, for all your gaming needs so uh, we'll get some more videos up soon thank you very much bye